You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although, if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return, too. Well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Wherever you want to go, we are so there with you. And welcome back, everybody, to the finale, finale of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I am excited to play through this epilogue with you as we have a decent bit to do. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if we go to journal, check out the tattle log. We still have 20 more things to tattle, which is not too bad. We, we got, I think, everything in the main story. Uh, badges to find, we have... 14 more, which is majority of them are in uh, the pit of 100 trials. We have to do the pit of 100 trials. Uh, we have a Prince Mush fight we have to do and just so, so much. I'm excited because I've been looking forward to this episode for a while. And I, I hope you guys are too, because I've been, I've been getting a decent bit of comments during the episodes like, are you going to do this? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do this? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to do it. It's 100% playthrough. We're going to do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, a throat bomb. That's a weird email to get. I did not subscribe to that, I promise. All right, before we continue though, I am missing four badges. So let's go to the shop up here and make some purchases. I know I need, off the top of the dome, I need simplifier and unsimplifier. Those are two I definitely need. I believe are here. So simplifier. Unsimplifier. And attack FXR. That's definitely one of them. And that should put us already at 11 badges, I believe, right? Let's see. Journal badge list. Yep, we are only missing 11 now. And I think there are there again, there are 10 in the pit of 100 trials. So let's see which ones we are missing. Okay, I figured out some of the ones that we needed, which one of them is Piercing Blow, so we're going to buy that. I can't believe I've never gotten a Power Jump, so we're going to get that one as well. We got Power Rush and Power Rush P, which I also never purchased for some reason. Oh, not last hand. Not last hand. Uh, pretty Lucky P. FP Drain. I think, uh, yeah, Power Rush P as well. Okay, that should be the I think all the badges from the badge shop which is that yep we're now missing five badges which I believe all of them are pit of 100 trials this one's pit of 100 trials that one's pit of 100 trials these two are pit of 100 trials yep all of left all that's left for the badges is the pit of 100 trials which leaves us at 136 coins which is not too shabby not too shabby um we still have some Ultra Shrooms. We don't really need these. Uh, don't really need the Jam and Jellies either. I could craft these and sell them to get a little bit more money. I would like to take some Life Shrooms with me. So we might do that. But I think I think before we go do the Pit of 100 Trials, we go try that boss fight that people have been begging me to do. So uh, I'll see you guys in Glitzville. Let's, uh, let's, let's take the shortcut. I want to go to Glitzville. I want to try. Let's see if we can get it done first try. Because why not? I got I got four life shrooms on me. Let's do it. Oh, Glitzville. It's good to be back. Oh, my gosh. I love the chapter three so much. I was surprised when we got a pink Yoshi. Uh, Because I my obviously my favorite one to get is black. But... I, I I actually never did a playthrough of the Pink Yoshi before, so it was really cool actually getting a unique one that that was like I was like oh cool I'm just gonna let the timer go out, so that was that was that was cool. <laughs> Sorry, just just kind of rambling and 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 just uh having 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 some memories of the entire series. Let's go ahead and save. Hey, Prince Mush, Mario, my friend, you came. Thanks to you, I've been able to thrill my fans once again as Prince Mush. I'd love to show you my appreciation by fighting you. If you're up for it, just enter my exhibition match. Oh, we, we will enter the exhibition match, my friend. 
we we will do this we just got to go to the champion room because i don't know if you guys remember but i actually did already redo all of the glitz pit in chapter three i went right back in breeze through the entire thing and i was good to go so am i fully healed i am we have 25 fp 10 hp and 69 bp let's check my badges uh quick change power plus is good flower saver is good spike shield we won't need that for this fight uh because he's not really a spiky dude power balance is probably best to have on pretty lucky is good damage dodge we're gonna be super guarding so we won't need that p up d down he can one hit us i'm pretty sure he could probably one hit us it's an extra fight um i think i possibly want to put on uh, I have five. Pretty lucky P. No, I don't really need that. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to put on. Kind of at a loss. <laughs> uh, lucky star. Yeah, I, yeah, we never. Uh, oh wait, all or nothing could actually be really good. I don't really miss action commands, so I'm gonna try that. I don't think I've ever actually used that one before. All right, let's set up our first exhibition match. Well, technically our second, because we did the, the bats and whatnot. All right, Prince Mush. We might lose the first one, because I, I have to tattle him. So I'm, I'm hoping this won't be too bad. All right, here we go. Mr. Champion, sir, it's time for your match. Please come this way. main event and we're in for a bout of a brawl here before your eyes our newest champ the great gonzalez will battle the very first champion prince mush once all is said and done which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena let's get our star gladiators out here first making his triumphant return to the glitz pit it's the great gonzalez You rock, man! Eee, Star Challenge! Back to the moon! What an entrance! The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite, our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever. Ready for a royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mush! Two champions face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Ooh, the music is so cool. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. Oh, the music is so good. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and tattle. What are we up against? That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. He's finally making his comeback. He's got a max HP of 96 and an attack of 6 and a defense of 6. You've never guessed he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast to come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake-based trauma in the past? Whatever. If you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. Okay. Uh, definitely gonna need a power lift. I'm not. I'm not too confident about this guy right now. <laughs> okay. Defense. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh wait, no. Eh, 
They actually need a lot of attack as well. Okay, 4-4 four, four is pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. And what is he going to do? Okay, change his stance. Oh! Ow! Wait, he drained my MP! Bruv! Okay. What kind of stance are you doing? Gonna rally wink. Then we're going to switch out Gumbella. Just so she's not... KIA'd. Okay, explosions don't hurt him. Swap partner to... Bobbery, just because you have the most health. Try a power bounce. Okay, he's dodging me. Can I do Quake Hammer? Okay, I can do Quake Hammer at least. Dang, okay. So what kind of stance are you doing now? Let's go back to Cabela, do a, another rally wink. So when he's going side to side, I can do hammer, I can do my hammer move. Can I, can I do jump now or no? Let's try and learn it. I can. He's got a lot of defense, though. Okay. Uh, we need to switch out Gumbella. Go to Flurry this time. Try another power mounts. Ah! I am keep messing it up. It's hard to time that one. Yeah, I can do hammer attacks. Ah! It's so hard to hit the guard! Okay. Swap partner to Gumbella. Do another rally wink. I am running a little bit low on FP, but it's not the worst. He has 69 health. Nice. Swap partner to Bobbery. And let's do another power lift for Mario. That'll be one of my moves. Trying to walk, trying to walk you all through my thought process with this, but if I don't hit that super guard, I'm kind of in a bad position. And right now, it's not looking too good. I shouldn't. I should have practiced a little bit first before I just hopped right into the first boss fight of the epilogue. <sighs> but we win these. We win these. I'm not too. I'm not too worried. Okay, he's going side to side, so. I can do hammer. Nice. Nine damage. Better than nothing. Oh, nice. Okay, change of stance. There it is! Let's go! Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Okay, swap to Gumbella. Let's do a... Rally wink on Mario. We let the champion go twice. That's so unfair. What? I finally get. Oh, whatever. Whoa, that's so unfair. What? That's fine. Okay, what I did, I did massive damage anyway. I forgot to switch Kubella out though. Uh oh. Okay. Oh! Oh no. Ugh! Okay. I'm gonna rally wing. <laughs> I need to switch out Gubella. Okay. I don't think I can hit him. That's a that's a different stance. What kind of stance is that? Okay, 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 okay. Um, got a Bobbery because he's still boosted. I need to get rid of that stupid smoke. Okay. 
Yep, can't hit him. Lovely! Come on! I should... What should I do? What should I do? I'm gonna do Sweet Feast just to get my FP back. Probably shouldn't do that because I need power lift, but... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just avoid the poison mushrooms. Man... I'm actually using Sweet Feast in 2024. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's a good F FP replenish. Alright, I gotta watch out for this guy. <gasps> oh my god! was so much damage! <laughs> what?! Uh, swapping the coops. Uh, sh I'm gonna shell slam it. Okay, there he is. Swap partner... Not jump, not jump. I need to get rid of this stupid smoke! Bobbery. I- I guess I'm just gonna defend? Or I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try Quake Hammer. I don't think I can hit him, though. He blocks it! Oh, that's not good. It's so hard to super guard it! No! Can the stupid fuck- Thank you! Thank you for final- Okay. Okay, we're just gonna do a power shell. That'll get rid of all the clones. Hey. I wanted to keep Koops alive. Um... Hmm. We are in a tricky situation here. Wumbo got 30 health. Okay. I, I'm just... Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do a normal hammer. And I'm gonna try and peel to the crowd. Yes, that was it. There it is! Okay, okay. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. <sighs> okay. 30 health. I need to switch. I need to switch. I need to switch to Goombella. Okay. I. Ooh, she's still powered up. I'm gonna do it. Alright, that was a waste. Good to know! And I can still throw. We still got it! We still got it! We still got it! Let's go! Ooh, I thought I threw there! I thought I threw there! So, so strong! You've got me beat, Mario! Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle! Wild moves, raw power, flying fists of fury, what beautiful destruction! This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner, and this time it was the Great Gonzalez! 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 Here's your fight money of 30 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh, that's right. I hear mush. Oops, uh, m make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway if you want to catch up with him now. That's all. Take care, Gonzalez. We only used one life stream that fight. You know what? I will, I will take that. I, I'm not even mad. <laughs> we did. I feel like we did decent for me being a little bit rusty on my super guards. But that was that was a fun fight. I really enjoyed that. 
All right, let's go talk to Prince Mush, see what he's got for us. Prince Mush! Hello! I want my thing. What do you have to give me? Hello! Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider it a thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. We got Prince Mush's belt, a belt matching Prince Mush's and a sign of his friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime, and I intend to win it. All right, that is our first optional boss down. Now we must head back to Rogueport and get ready for the Pit of 100 Trials. So before we go right into the Pit of 100 Trials, there is one thing I wanted to start. Uh, one of the first troubles we have to do this chapter I guess not chapter, I guess in this epilogue, is uh, erase that graffiti because it actually brings us to the Pit of 100 Trials. So, and we have uh, two more we'll do later, but here's the first one. I need someone to go to the 50th level of the Pit of 100 Trials for me. Shaboom! So I need someone pretty tough. Shaplawi. For details, please see me next to the cannon statue in Far Outpost. Shaboomity! I will take on sh uh, Swab's trouble, yes. And we're going to do it, and we're going to do it right. So let's go get geared up for the Pit of 100 Trials. We'll rework our badges a little bit, and then we will start our first venture there. First thing I wanted to do is stock up on a little bit of mushrooms, because um, I don't particularly want to lose the Pit of 100 Trials, so I'm going to try my best to not utilize the live shrooms that I'm going to buy, but I, I, I want to have them just as a backup plan, just in case. I can buy three of them. And that'll bring us up to six. I think six is far more than enough. Probably overthinking all this. Uh, how much do we actually... What's in our storage? We have... Oh, we have an extra one. Oh, and whack is bumps. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, okay, that we have 15 items. Uh, what do I not need? Well, ultra shrooms. I only have 10 life. I don't really need ultra shrooms. So I guess I will store these for... Because I have the Wackus Bumps for FP and the Jam and Jellies. I think that's good. I think this is a good setup for the Pit of 100 Trials. Alright, let's go head to Far Outpost and talk to the bomb that needs us to erase that graffiti. Which Far Outpost is like, uh... uh well, I guess I'll take the shortcut. That might be an easier way to do it. Let's go take the shortcut and go to Far Outpost. Whee! Hello! Are you the guy that needs us to erase the graffiti? You agreed to help me for my trouble? Shaplooey, thanks to you, Shaboom! There is a dungeon under Rogueport called the Pit of 100 Trials, Shakao. I heard if one writes a wish on the wall of the 50th level, then that wish comes true, Shapop. I use special big explosion to get down to the 50th level and write wish, Shakrack. And then I realized whole thing was a hoax, Shadoop. I risked my life getting down there for useless graffiti. I want it erased, Shashoom. I would explode it myself, ease of peas, but getting back down there is not ease of peas. Shakroom! So, could you go to the 50th level of the Pit of 100 Trials and erase graffiti? Please, Shablu! Yes. Yes, we will. Go to the Pit of 100 Trials. I think we're ready. I think we're finally ready to do it. And I... I, I, I actually debated if I would skip the fights that I've already done. But since I have to do the Pit of 100 Trials twice, I know, we're doing it twice this chapter. I think I'm going to do the whole Trials, just do the whole thing, and then for the second one, I'll just you know, skip it again. So, before we go down, let's sort our badges. And let's prepare for the Pit. So, what I want to do, we're not going to do all or nothing. We need the Spike Shield. Uh, I don't think we'll need Power Bounce. At least for now. Gonna keep... I'll turn off Pretty Lucky, too. We have nine. The up, the down is good. We need Quake Hammer. I should probably turn on Chill Out just for the safety precaution of it. But we need Ice Power. Um, Where's... I thought I had Pity Flower. Or Flower Finder. Not Pity Flower. Flower Finder. That's what we need. Flower Finder is good. Lucky starts all right. Feeling fine could help. 
What well, money money? That's the one. I we we we're, we're gonna be getting a lot of money this. So I think that's the setup we're gonna go with for now. And if I need to make any changes during it, you guys will see it. So the next time you see me, we'll be starting the pit of a hundred trials. Here we go. We have made it to Rogueport sub level three. We're gonna save and begin the pit of 100 trials. A few more enemies to tattle, and then we're then we're done. Let's do it. First enemy is a new enemy. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to defeat him though. I guess I'll just get in the battle. Because when I did the Pit of 100 Trials, I think back in Chapter 1 or 2, I didn't tattle anything off camera. So, this is the stuff where we need to tattle. Alright, what are we dealing with? That's a Gloomba. It likes dark, damp places. Max HP is 7, attack is 3, defense is 0. It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sick or anything. So, don't show any mercy. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, I honestly am just gonna quick hammer. Take them both out. Will I take them out? No, it does not take them out. Uh oh. Hey, that's not, what the heck, that's not fair. He's laughing at me. Ah! All right, this is the first battle I'm already getting my butt kicked. All right, we just got to tattle the first... Every, every battle that we get into... Oh, we got a clear bonus. I forgot about that. You get a clear bonus every single floor of the Pit of 100 Trials, which is going to be nice. And this is why we do Flower Finders, because we practically got to refund every fight. Which will help us in the long run. All right, come here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do Quake Hammer. Easy peasy. A very easy floor. Nothing too much to worry about. I wish my Quake Hammer did more damage, but I have to actually buy more Quake Hammers. To actually up the damage on it, and the FP cost is gonna be astronomical if I end up doing that, so I'm not gonna do that. Instant refund. Let's go. Prologue enemies are nothing to us. We're the champion of the glitz pit. And, and I guess the world. That also matters. I just realized they had three health, so I don't have to do a full charge. <laughs> Five coin bonus, baby! I think we're probably gonna level up a few times over down here. I could actually see that happening. Oh, and you know what? I just realized one of the monsters we're actually missing a tattle for, which I'm hoping we'll get in the pit of 100 trials. If not, grinding for it's gonna kind of suck. But we're actually missing an amazing daisy, which we never saw in chapter four. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a gold amazing daisy that gives like 60 star points depending on your level upon defeat. It's one of the hardest enemies to kill, uh, unless you know what you're doing. Oh, I might actually need power bounce for that. Or I could probably art attack it. It's gonna be rough. The first one we find is gonna suck because I have to tattle it. But I, I would like to actually defeat them. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to make do and figure out what we're gonna do with that. A fuzzy! I haven't seen one of these in, in, in like eight chapters. Oh, I forgot about the fuzzies. Uh, I could probably utilize Coops. Coops might just be able to take out everything. Coops, you deal four FP. How much damage is that gonna deal? Probably like 10, right? Yeah. The Coops is gonna be our really big heavy hitter during this. But I, I might be doing a little bit of overkill <laughs> in the first 10 floors. All 
Uh, we didn't get a full refund on FP, but that's not too bad. Oh, also, uh, for those of you who are unaware, during the Pit of 100 Trials, there's this NPC called the Mover. You can actually pay him to skip floors. Um, I'm not gonna do that. If we get him, we're just gonna skip, and we're not gonna worry about it, because I just don't wanna, uh, potentially miss out on tattling an enemy or anything like that. I wanna make sure we get everything our first go, we don't have to worry about it again. The one thing I'm worried about is the Amazing Daisy, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, there's a full refund. Nice. Woohoo! Speak of the devil and he shall appear. All right, we're not we're not going to pay you though, mover. We're just going to skip this. Uh, come here. Boink. Boink. <laughs> Let's see. Do a quick little quick camera here. We'll knock out the early birds. Fast. So fast. We are, we are speeding through this. I say that. I don't think we've even gone to floor 10 yet. <laughs> we got to be getting close though, right? I feel like we are. Oh, an actual HP. That's nice. Hey, we're already back up to 100 coins, which is nice. Yeah, we're going to get so much money. So much money during this. All right, what floor are we on? I'm, I'm not keeping track. We are on oh, floor nine. Okay, so this is the last enemy. And then we get our first badge. I'm excited for our first badge. We always get to experience that together. Like GG, easy. We only had a misfire on the on the first fight of the whole thing, which is terrible present that. Very nice. Let us continue. I I guess I opened that one. Oh yeah, because we had to go to floor ten in the. I I don't remember. I, I I just remember opening. I guess I opened that chest. All right. What are you selling, by the way? Two hundred fifty. What the heck? That is just so expensive. No. Yeah, you, you are, you are, you, you are a bad man. Bad, bad, sorry, Coops. Bad man. Bad, bad man. Bad, the bad man. No. That is a new enemy. And that is one we need to tattle. How many are we dealing with? Two? That's not too bad. We'll have to hopefully super guard one of them, but that's a para para gloomba. It's a goomba with wigs. Max HP is seven, attack is three, defense is zero. It's like a stronger version of a para goomba, and maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if living down here ever makes its wings moldy. Yuck! It's too gross to even think about. Blech. All right, we're gonna take out the one with the item first because I really don't want to deal with that. I know it's just a fire flower, but you know, less I got to deal with the better. I, I can super guard Prince Mush sometimes, but I can't super guard a Paragloomba once. I think I'm washed, guys. I think after eight chapters and a, and a, and an ep, a prologue, I'm, I'm just I'm just washed up. I'm not the Paper Mario hero you need. Or deserve. I'm just a washed up fool. <laughs> a washed up fool. Oh, we're on the chapter two enemies now. All right, let's get Coops back out. Have fun with this guy. Four of them. Oh no! What am I going to do? They're going to overpower me. Oh, they're dead. GG. Get out of here. Get out of here, you you bozos. I want nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Yeah, bozo. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. What the heck? Never mind. Come back. I want that money. Oh, 
Oh, a pokey! We're on chapter three enemies as well. Nine damage. Oh my gosh. My partners are so overpowered right now. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Give me that money. Give me that money. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I didn't do it again. Oh, you know what would actually be super useful? Nothing, because I... You know what? You guys caused me to do this. It's gonna be 7 FP, but I'm gonna do it. You guys caused this! I want you to remember this! 12 damage. Oh my gosh. It was, it was very expensive, though. Even with two, uh... Flower Saver Peas, it still costs 7. So we gotta work back our debt now for all the for all the flower power we just used. We should be fine. I think we'll be okay. Oh, a little spooter! Hey, little spooter, how's it going? Hey, little spooter! That's a lot of spooters! What the heck? Go down. Oh, they all went down. Let's go. Coops, do your thing. Yeah, we can work off the debt still. That should be a decent bit of money as well. We got a 10 coin clear bonus and we're going to get the money afterward. I feel like that we should get a decent bit. I'm hoping we'll get a decent bit. It could be worse. Could be worse. Not worse, but it could be. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh I didn't get it. And two pokies and a paragloom, but I can take care of that. Easy peasy and power shell. We are so used to this already. We're, we are we are in the money. We're unstoppable. Nothing can stop us. We have full force momentum. Thank you for the money, good sir. I really appreciate that. That will help us out a lot. Well, not really, but I, I still gotta buy all Luigi's books. And they're a little bit expensive because I don't get no brotherly discount. Uh, one enemy for Koops, one enemy for me. Get this guy. Boink. And Koops, uh, do your thing. Nice. Ten coin bonus. Well, that gave us a full refund now. We're still at 22 FP, man. I want my full refund back. No, I think we're one off. Man! Over 250 coins? That's pretty good! That's pretty good! A pokey! Get out of here! Get out of here! You weak, you gob! Oh, that's four of them. That's gonna be some good money, though. Alright, Koops. As I've said before, and I'll say again, do your thing. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. We love to see it. You know what I was just thinking about? In the, uh, at the end of the game. Wow, that's a lot of, okay, we got a full refund. Uh, at the end of the game, it revealed that Tech was still alive. We should go say hi to him at the end of all this. I think that'd be a lot of fun. See what he's up to. Mover, what are you doing here? Get out, we got two movers already? Ruining my, you're not giving me any money, dude. I know it's a free room, but stop it. I want, I want to fight. That's what the pit of 100 trials is. I'm not here to cheat. Get out of here. All right, so this was the farthest I made it to in, I believe it was chapter one or two. So everything from here on out is new.
So let's continue. That is a new enemy. I need Goombella. Hello! Don't hurt me, please. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Alright, battle. Oh wait, I could probably just use Art Attack. We're gonna get we're gonna get SP back anyway. That's a spiky Goomba. It's a spiky Goomba that likes dark places. Max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. Its attack is pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if I'd look like that if I stayed down here long enough. I'd rather not think about that. Are there tanning salons in Rogueport? Bella, now is not the time to work on your tan. We're in a life or death situation. Because if, they, if, if I don't guard or super guard any attack they do to you, that's 15 damage. That's 15 damage to you. I was trying to do like a square. I didn't really do it too well. All right, we got him. Nothing to worry about. And we'll we'll get our SP back. I'm not I'm not too pressed by it. So we should be on chapter three and four enemies now. If I'm doing the math correctly, I think we are. Yep, that is a chapter three enemy. These guys are really annoying. I really do not want to deal with them. Ah, that is so many of them. Why are there so many of them? And one of them has a sleepy shape. Right, they have five health. I can just do a regular power shell. We'll take them all out. Doink! That was a lot, though. That was a lot of them. 35 star points. Good amount of money. Good amount of money. Let's go. 311 coins. We're doing so well. I'm so proud of this community. Lakitu. I think I tattled you a glitz pit, right? I want to say that. That is four of them. I did. All right, Bobbery. They're all floating and I forgot to turn on the other thing, so. Time to spend the 7 FP, I guess. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it worth it? Was it worth being bringing all your brothers and sisters and anyone in between to this fight? Probably not. You feel like a goofball? Do ya? Do ya, punk? Uh, we're gonna switch the coops for this. Not dealing with this guy. Whoop! Four bomb mobs. Okay. There's a lot of enemies. I don't remember there being this uh, many enemies last time I did this. But we'll take what we can get. Get out! Look at that, our SP is already almost filled back up. We know what we're doing, we know what we're doing. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the power. Gonna be doing everything we can. A boo? What the heck? Four boos? Oh, what am I ever gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this and take them all out one go. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I, I, I feel fine about that. I don't feel like anyone's gonna be mad at me for doing that. There are definitely a lot of uh, enemies in these fights. I don't remember them being this bad, but... Okay. Boink. Ooh. There's our enemy variety. But again, still not worried about it. Because we just take coops. And we'll do a power shell. And we'll take everybody out. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. As simple as that. Up to 400 coins. And we're not even halfway done yet. We're gonna be so 
rich. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. We happy, we healthy. I honest, honestly thought we were going to get another mover there for a second because we, we got two already and we're only 20 something floors in. Four enemies again. Is this like a common thing? I mean, I'm not I'm not upset about it because it's just it's just more money for us. But I just kind of feel bad for them. We're like plowing through it. Imagine walking up to a fight thinking you got this and then there's like one dude just bodies 50 people. That's just all we're dealing with. Oh my gosh. Lack of two. Get out of here. Oh, see, there's only two. See, this is what I thought the trials were going to be. Just like two enemies every now and again. All right, F SP is back up. We are good to go. Get out of here, you, you silly little Gloomba. We don't need you. Oh, but I miss getting a lot of money, though. All right, maybe I do want them to be a bunch of enemies. A bob -bob. Come here. Four of them? That's some decent money. We'll take that. We'll take what we can get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. I I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy taking all these guys out in one turn while I can. Because I know once we hit like floor 60 or 70, I'm gonna take back literally everything I said <laughs> about this being far too easy. Cause I'm gonna get my butt whooped. I we made it to floor 30. Let's go. Ooh, what's our first badge gonna be? Zap tap! That's a really good badge, actually. I kinda wanna equip that. A three. What would be I need flower finder? That's been helping us a lot. Oh no, I don't think I have much I can take off. Well, you know what that means? That means you just gotta level up BP. Let's do it. Oh, that's a new guy. Oh, I was trying to try to run into him without him like charging at me. Okay, so we got one new guy. Let's see what your deal is. That's a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max HP is eight, attack is four, and defense is two. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weaknesses as a regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? You are 100% correct, Camilla. What is the point? Because we're just going to Art Attack these bozos. I feel like Art Attack is my safest bet for just tattling. Because I, I'm going to get hit if I don't do it. So I'd rather not get hit. Save our HP while we can. All right, can I sign off? Oh, wah, wah. Yeah. We bowed it. We bowed it. That's a 10 coin bonus right there, good sir. We're up to 43 star points. I know we're not getting a lot of star points now, but we eventually will. And that's some good money. All right, let's go down. Mover! Get out of here! That's our th third mover, man. I'd be on like floor 50 by now. I actually took all the movers. We got chapter five enemies though. That's pretty cool. Oh, see now this is an art attack one. I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I really don't want to deal with all these guys. 
All right, we're gonna do art attack again just because I'm lazy. Bro, I don't think I'll regret it. We're still like on floor 40, so I think we'll be fine. Whee! Two, one, and a sign off. Nice. That, that looks like that looks like a two more than a Z. Ten coin bonus though. And we're at 515 coins. Wow! We're rolling with the money, man. Rolling with the money. Money, money is such a good badge for the pit of 100 trials. Oh my gosh. I, I'm patting myself on the back for that. Original idea, do not steal. Oh, you're a chapter three enemy. What a lineup. Okay. How many, they have eight health? Ah, we can just take them out normally. It'll give me a chance to refill some of my SP as well. All right, and Gabella, you take out this guy. Nice. That was some, that was some good super. That was that was, that was that was okay. That, that was that was okay. Wasn't that many enemies, which I'm fine with. So we're not gonna get a lot of money from it. Oh, actually, we did get a decent bit though. I'll take it. I'll take it. We take these. <gasps> a flower fuzzy. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm reminiscing so hard right now. Oh, the nostalgia for it's. I, I wouldn't even call it nostalgia because it's, you know, stuff we've recently faced. But just seeing all the the old the old chapter enemies is just making my, my making me smile a lot. Chapter five was so good. I love that chapter. And the backtracking honestly wasn't that bad either. I think they did a pretty good job fixing it. Except going back and forth to camp was a little bit annoying, but it wasn't too bad. A dog Koopa. Doink. Oh yeah, we're getting all of our all all of our star power back with these uh with these stylish moves, baby. Because we stylish. We heck a stylish. Let's do it. Five more coins, plus the bonus coins we get. We're rolling in the money today. Thank you. Wait, there we go. Gotta make sure we grab everything. Don't want to lose out on anything. I'm excited for you guys to see how challenging this will eventually get. Because I do only, I have six lives, but you know, we still got to take on the boss as well. I'm gonna have Gumbella take out the other guy up there, the Buzzy Beetle. And I'm gonna take out the smaller guy here, because my partners are actually stronger than me. Let's do a little bit of a head bonk. Oh, I missed the I missed the stylish. No. Oh no, I missed the stylish. I could have done so much better than that. Man, I am washed. Grab all the coins and move down to the next floor. Just don't give us a mover. I just don't want a mover. All right, what we got here? Whoa, that's a lot of buzzy beetles. Okay. Um, I just got art attack back, man. All right, we're going to do it again. Doink. Whee! Doink. Whee! Doink. And the one, and the sign off. Ah, oh, I didn't do- Ah, oh, no! I messed up my sign off! I made a C! 620 coins, though. We're good. And we're almost halfway to a level. I really want to see if I can get to A-list celebrity. Um, am I A-list? Am I already an A-list? I actually don't remember. But, oh yeah, we're on A-list. It's the one after that. I'm level 27. We have to level up three times in the pit. I think that's actually doable. So... I think we're gonna... You'll be, you'll be able to see the final stage performance. Which will be really cool. To experience on video. You know, when I first decided to do this playthrough, I 
heavily didn't think that I was going to 100% it. I was just like, I'm just going to do a normal playthrough, do the optional content, like the optional bosses. Like, of course, I was going to do pit of 100 trials and whatnot, but I never thought I'd actually, you know, 100% the game because it, it is a massive list to do. But after sitting uh, sitting around and, and actually carefully planning everything I wanted to do in each chapter, I was like, it's very possible to 100% this game in a reasonable amount of time. And nothing ever felt like a terrible, terrible grind to me. So I'm actually quite happy I decided to do it because I get to share my favorite game with all of you and I get to have fun doing it. So, all right, what we got? Pity flower. When Mario takes damage in battle, occasionally recover one FP. That is not worth it. That's not worth it. All right, was that, are we on floor 40 now? 40, all right, floor 50 coming up. Mover! I, I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a tattle here too. Bro, you stole my stupid tattle, stupid mover. Get out of here! Get out! Oh, man. Dang it. I don't know what I missed. Well, hopefully we'll be able to find it again. I'm sure, I'm sure we will. That is a variety of enemies. Okay, what's our game plan here? I am going to normal jump the back one. And then I'm going to switch to coops. And we are going to do a power shell. There we go. Had to, see, I had to think about that one. See, now, now we're in the thinking stage. Not that I didn't have to think for I, mean, I guess everything else was kind of brain dead, but I actually had to think about that one. <laughs> Good amount of money. I hope I can find that enemy that mover stole from me. All right, there's an ember. I think we're fine. I should hit pretty high because I have that ice badge on. Yeah, it shouldn't matter anyway. Coop's just going to take him out in one go. All right, do a power shell. And that's nine damage. There we go. And we already got art attack back. Let's do it, baby. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. I'm so scared to see stupid mover, dude. <laughs> Normally, oh, there, I might be one of them. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta switch to Gumbella, gotta switch to Gumbella. Okay, swap partner to Gumbella. We shall tattle. Okay. This is a dark paratrooper. It lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It's strong, but otherwise, just like other paratroopers. It's airborne, so try to ground it first. Okay, very simple. So, I guess we'll just spring jump it. Make sure we take it out in one go. Don't even gotta worry about it. We almost got the poison mushrooms. That's bad. But we didn't, because we're good. E -Z -P -A -Z. And a full refund. That's what we like to see. I should check the tattle log as well. We, we tattled a fair bit of enemies. I'm going to check it real quick before that guy attacks us. Journal tattle log. We are at 120 out of 34. So we're missing 14 enemies. That's not too shabby. Uh, I will go over the art gallery as well. Uh, probably do that right at the very end, just so we're not taking up a lot of stuff. Uh, badge list. We are missing three badges, and then we are done with all the badges. Ah, that's so cool. Okay. All right, let's take that. Okay. Come here. Boink. Boink. I shouldn't have to art attack as well. I can probably just... I'll go for the back eye, then I'll have um, Goombella take out the rest. Go do your thing, Goombella. Nice. And he's gonna come back up, and then Mario should be able to attack him out pretty easily. Boink. Boink. 
that's what we like to see. 727 coins, 54 star points, almost halfway done. We are breezing through this pit of 100 trials. Oh, man. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep this momentum. That's what we like to see. Keep the momentum. All right, I've already tattled you, bozo. This is an interesting one. Okay. I normal jump him, switch the coops, and we're good. I just said do the same tactic we did last time. Do a power shell. Easy peasy. And we're back up to full star power. Nothing to worry about at all. Oh, a courage shell. I don't need that. Thank you, though. Oh, Mr. Bob. Meet Koopa. Oh, what an interesting turn of events. Not. Get him, Koops. Y'all mess with the wrong plumber, man. Y'all mess with the wrong plumber. Now y'all are dead. You're dead and forgotten about. How's it feel? You chose to live in a square for your entire life, and now you're dead. You're dead. We're on floor 47, almost to, almost to floor 50. And then we can knock out the trouble as well. What were his wishes? What do you guys think the Bubbub's wishes? Guess we'll find out once we reach floor 50. All right, we'll do the same tactic we did last time. Which is... Boink. Oh, well. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Should be able to still one-shot him. Yep, we're good. Easy! Almost to 800 coins. We're almost to 1,000 coins. And halfway through. That is hype. That is so freaking hype. And look at that full refund on the FP, dude. Oh, Flower Finder is so good. It's so good. I was waiting to use it during the pit of 100 trials, and I'm glad I'm doing it. Ah! Get out of here. This is a weird one. All right, I am going to art attack this one. Just because I don't want to deal with them. But once we reach floor 50, we should be dealing with chapter 7 enemies. Which won't be too bad, but, uh, I, I think it's after chapter, dealing with chapter eight enemies is kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. It's, I'm mainly just worried about the wizards, if anything. Thank you for the money. So much money. Hey, floor 50, there's the graffiti. All right, what do we get? Oh, the strange sack, an item that lets you carry up to 20 items. That would have been so useful many, many chapters ago, but I refuse to do the pit of 100 trials until the post game. All right, what does the graffiti say? There is graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish, I want to get married to Bobo Link, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids, enough for two soccer teams, Shablooey. This graffiti was scrawled on with a fierce hand. Doesn't seem like any amount of rubbing will erase it. 22 children? Are you out your mind? Are you out of your mind, man? You're God. Good, good luck to, to the, to the bomb up you want to marry, man. Dear God. Oh, that's a new guy. Okay. All right, now we're getting into the annoying enemies. This is going to be fun. What are we dealing with? Okay. 
I really don't want to deal with these guys, so I might have to art attack. That's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who will go after your badges. That jerk. Max HP is 12, attack is 5, and defense is 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use guard carefully. And even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs away from battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Okay, I'm not even going to attempt to deal with that, so we are just going to art attack. I really don't want to... Yeah. They have 12 HP. Oh, I missed one. Come on. Okay, we got it. Woo! Still no star points. We're getting there, though. Okay. Woo! Woo! I can't believe the badge bandits didn't give me any badges. That's 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 fair, right? They can steal mine. They don't give me any. Oh, an ice puff. Um, probably got to do the coops method. Take him out. Swap coops. Do a power shell, and we are good. Simple math, ladies and gentlemen. Very simple math. Nice. Grab all that, and we will head back down. We got a boo? That's not too bad. Bad dog boo. <laughs> Laugh at the hammer. Four of them. But I feel like they're going to do an annoying pattern. They didn't do it? <gasps> they didn't do an annoying pattern! Hooray! I can take them out in one hit. Hooray! Get out. Get out of here. This is our neighborhood now. You chose the wrong area to go in, punks. A gradual or slow, or slow sure, whatever that is. I don't need that. I don't need that. We, we, we're, we're Mario. We're fine. We don't need that. Oh, a red chain chomp from chapter three. That's pretty cool. What? I can't hit his little doohickey. Three of them. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, power punches are pretty decent, but I... Yeah, I'm fine. I got I got power lift. We're fine. We're fine. Don't overthink it, Max. You're fine. Ten coins? Almost a thousand. That's pretty good. Full refund on FP. And we're going down. Space Rock. Space Rock is dead. That's a lot of Space Rocks. Space Rock is not dead. So we're going to Quake Hammer. Pretty good. Stylish on him. Oh, that's not useful at all. Oh, that's pretty funny, though. All right, do a Power Shell, take them all out. Easy peasy, 20 coin bonus. Ooh, we're getting more money. I like that, did it? Did I get that? At all? I think that was my first one. Maybe I'm not that observant. We're gonna get so much money now. Oh my gosh. Almost a thousand coins, 991! Ho 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 ho. Hello. I don't like you guys. There's three of them. I think if I do Koops' big shell move and a Quake Hammer, that should be able to take them all out. Let's see. Normal damage is nine. This one is ten. Yeah, we're fine. Did use a decent bit of FP for this, but we'll, we'll get a refund. Nice. 
We should start working on getting SP back though, because I think chapter eight enemies are on floor 60. So that is going to be something we're going to have to deal with. Very nice. And we hit over a thousand coins. Oh, we're going to be so rich by the end of this. No ice. Come on, go down, go down. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you so much. You are so helpful. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here, bozos. Five coin bonus. I got 20 that one time. What? What dictates a coin bonus? I need to know. I would love to know, actually. I would love to maximize my profits. Another dark boo. Oh, badge bandit. Lovely. Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Thank you. Okay. So if I do a power shell and then a normal hit on the badge bandit, we should be fine. Do a normal jump. Boink. You'll love to see it. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend and giving me lots of money. A Chen Chumper. Hey, direct hit. Let's go. Three chain chops again? Easy. Easy game. That's a quick little power shell, and then we're all good. You'll love to see it. And we almost got our full SP back. Slowly getting it up there, because I'm definitely going to need it. I'm so worried about the Amazing Daisies, because I like, I, I'm not worried about tattling them. I'm, I'm worried about, like, not getting the, the kill. Because, like, I, I, I want the star points to give you, because that's just, like, a free level up. Oh, we made it to floor 60. We got double dip. We already have that badge. So that is a no go for us. Going down. Should be a new enemy, hopefully. Mover! Ah! Stop interrupting my thing! You've gotten mover so many times. Ugh. Man. Okay. Stupid mover, man. All right, four dry bones. I should be, just, I'll just do a shell slam, get rid of all of them. It's cheaper than using Bobbery. Oh, we're actually getting star points. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that. Hey, that's a good bit of money, though. And a full refund, actually. Oh, that's so nice. Very, very nice. I really hope we didn't miss a new enemy, dude. Mover's so annoying! I wish you could just, like, disable him when you don't want to use him. Oops. Oops. Stupid wizard. Oh! You're interesting. Okay. Well, we'll do another shell slam. It's another chapter three enemy as a common enemy. That's crazy to see. And we'll do a, I guess we can just take him out with a normal jump. Nice. We're actually getting star points. We're going to level up. Then I can equip zap tap, which is perfect timing because I really don't want to deal with the bats. Very nice. Collect all this. Moving on down. See, this is why I always tattle everything my first playthrough of everything, so I just don't have to deal with it again. Oh, an icy piranha. Now that we don't have to tattle, like, everything as we go, it just makes this so much easier to deal with. Um, I'm probably a waste, but I'm gonna... 
Actually, I have a plan. So he has 11 health. I'll just do a, uh, a spin jump. Nice. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> Eighty star, eighty or almost. Uh, bleh, bleh, I can talk. We are twenty-one star points away from a level up. So depending on the enemies we get, that might be soon. Ooh, just just you in the wild, all right. I missed. Oh, that's gonna suck. All right, what we got? You got a badge. I don't need that. But my greed's gonna take over. Man, I'm I'm gonna be greedy, aren't I? All right, come here, Ms. Mouse. All right, we'll do a kiss thief on you. We're gonna take your badge. I don't need I don't even need this badge. I just want it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do art attack. <laughs> I gotta do- I don't think I can deal 20 damage, so this might be a bad call. Okay. Three. Uh, I already messed up. Messed up again. That's about the best I'm gonna do. Okay, time to guard. Owie! Okay, there's a super guard. Okay. All right, we only got hit once. That's not too bad. Six, four, and five. Okay. Swap partner to Coops. And we'll do a power shell. My greed got the better of me. I'm sorry. It's only three star points as well. Oh, we almost had a full heal. Oh, we don't need that. We're fine. The full heal would have been cool, though. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I do got to get up my star power though, because after this is is gonna be is where the real challenge starts. There's the enemy that we skipped. This guy is gonna be annoying. Okay, so this guy's gonna be a little bit tricky. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, this guy's gonna be really tricky. So we're going to tattle the first one. That's a dark Lakitu. It rides a rain cloud. Max HP is 13, attack is 5, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs at you. If it's holding up a spiny egg when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the spiny eggs it throws turn into sky blue spinies. Whoa. If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win. So go after the dark Lakitu. I am about to level up, so I'm going to art attack two of them because I have to tattle the blue spiny. We're going to go after these two. I completely missed. Oh, this is going to be so hard to hit. Oh, man. Whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, I got two of them. That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, thank you. Perfect. That's that's all I needed. <laughs> Tattle sky blue spiny. That's a sky blue spiny. It appeared from a spiny egg thrown by the dark Lakitu. Max HP is six, attack is six, and defense is four. It'll totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up to defend and store energy for an attack. If you can, beat it and any buddies it may have with a special move. Ah, uh, well, we don't have any special moves left, Bella, so we are going to do a quick hammer to knock it over. So it can't ball up. You jerk! Okay. Uh, swap partner to Bobbery. I'm going to do something stupid. Alright, let's hop on him. Take him out. And then Bobbery. We're dipping in the FP pool, baby! We got the two tattles though. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh, I am I am hurt though. I am hurt. We, we took our first damage as Mario. 
Or was I damaged before? I actually don't remember. Alright, where are we at? 66? Not terrible. Alright, I think that might be the only new enemy in the floor 60 area, so... Gotta be on our guard, though. I'm gonna get Coops out. Come here, Coops. I missed! <gasps> I... I'm an idiot! I am an idiot! Why did I do that? I am an idiot! I am stupid! I wasted a life stream because I'm stupid! Man! Oh... Now I'm just mad. I cannot believe I did that. I was just impatient. I should have... I should have just went up and hit him. I was trying to play it safe. Well, we're, we're close to level up though, which is nice. Man, that was dumb. That was one of the dumb... I died in the overworld, man. Okay, we still got five life shrooms. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Mover? I am not in the mood. If you make me miss any tattles because you keep showing up, I'm coming for you. Okay, Icy Piranha, we can deal with that. Four of them? Yeah, why not? I think they have 10 health. Yeah, okay. A little Quake Hammer and Power Shell. And then we'll make it to floor 70. Oh. Nice. Power Shell. We are going to need an FP refresh soon, though. Because we are now almost officially out of Chapter 8 enemies. I don't think we've seen the bats yet, which the bats should be coming up. Which will be annoying because we don't have Zap Tap. I would really like Zap Tap. <laughs> that refund is very nice. Let's keep it going. All right, let's get our new badge. Double dip P. We also still have that one, so that one's useless. All right, this is floor seventy-one, I believe. We're going to seven floor seventy-one. Going to floor seventy-one, not on seventy-one. Now we are on 71, and that is a new enemy. Uh, it's a freaking wizard. Urgh, okay, okay. And two chain chops. Okay, I really got to take out that wizard as fast as possible. Okay, let's tattle him. That's a wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. Max HP is 10, attack is 6, and defense is 3. It uses magic to attack, heal, and alter your condition, so stay on guard. Its defense is high, but we can totally take this thing. Okay, he has 5 health. I am just going to normal hammer him. That should take him out, and then I can just hopefully super guard chain chops. That's two star points. That's pretty good. Or not. Or I'm just bad, apparently. Alright. I'm hoping the chain chops give us a decent bit. I I really want them to. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, I got I got way too confident at the start of this. Ah, uh, it's perfect. Two star points. So we level up next fight. That's that's perfect. So I can utilize art attack. No matter what, we win next fight. And we'll level up. So that's that's a good start. Ooh, the challenge has finally begun. Oh. Okay. I don't think Art Attack is gonna help us here. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I have a plan. I have a plan. Normal jump. Knock both of these guys on the ground. And we shell slam. And then that'll take out the wizard in the back. And then these guys are still stuck on the ground. 
That's it. We already we, lo we level up. It's guaranteed we level up now. Yep, perfect. All right, we'll just do a cell shell slam to finish him off. I'm gonna have to do a shell slam. Just adding insult to injury because I'm mad about the life stream I used. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. I got zap tap equipped <laughs> before <laughs> before we had to deal with the bats. So I'm happy about that. All right, let's go to BP. Ooh, I know I was gonna stop at 69, but I, you know, I'm still a BP boy at heart. You love to see it. Okay, I've got a feeling we're probably gonna see a new enemy next time. Let's go to badges, equip zap tap, and now flying enemies cannot hurt us anymore. Oh, it's just an ember. Okay. What we got? Ember and a wizard. Lovely. You love to see it. Oh my gosh. I love, I love these so much. Okay. Swap two coops. And we're just going to do a shell slam. Got to hope for these refunds though. We got to really hope for the good refunds. But at least we're actually getting star points now. That That's what I'm happy about. Also just realized we're up to practically 1,400 coins. That's pretty cool. We'll pretty much be able to buy every badge of the badge shop now. Especially by the end of this. There's the stupid bat. Kind of bats. Oh, what is this enemy layout? What is this? What? What am I? What? Okay, you know what? We are going to Baba blast everything. I just want to get rid of the bats. Good damage. And they have 15 health. I only have to deal with one of them. I'm just hoping I can super guard him. Oh, okay. Swap partner to Coops. Do a normal shell toss. And we'll do a normal jump on you to knock you down. Oh, thinking strategically with this one, man. I am going to try something. It didn't give me the big go. Oh, I have to actually do an action command. I would have killed him. That's not fair. And I wanted the f I wanted the free refund on the FP. I'm so sad. You actually have to do the stupid action command. Oh, Bushi? Oh, that's actually hype. Okay, thank you for that. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> Chain Chomp. That's just a coop hit. Oh. I gotta be more careful with that, dude. Oh, what? Why? Why are there so many of them? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna do a power show because it's cheaper. Oh, I'm so dumb. I am dumb. I have the dumb. I can just quake hammer. They're Koopas. I can just do that. I'm so dumb. What? Why would you do that? I, what the heck? What was the point of that? Okay, we'll do a power shell. And bingo. Actually, I want to work for this one. Yes. Full refund, baby. You'll love to see it. And I got five health left. Uh, might as well do a quick hammer. Boom. 
Nice. Y'all ain't getting up anytime soon. Ooh, that would have sucked. Stay down if you know what's good for you. Easy peasy. Ten coin bonus, baby. Very nice. We're in a good position. Fully healed. A lot of money. Still five life streams left, I think. I don't remember if I counted right. And a wizard. You you love to see it. We, again, we haven't even gotten to the hard part yet, which is what makes this suck. I feel like we definitely got into a challenging part of it, but the actual hard part of the pit, that's like floor 90 or floor 80 and above is where the it starts getting a little hard. Hey, okay, pretty good start points. I gotta start th playing it like really strategically once floor. Ooh, I'll take that. Once floor eighty happens, that's that's when we gotta start. Uh, oh my god, we're only at seventy six. Okay. Oh, my favorite guy. What's up, man? I this is the most I think I've ever seen you down here. Oh, and a wizard. Let's go. This is great. Okay. We're gonna do a shell slam. Just because we're actually getting star points now, I'm 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 I'm, I'm more willing to do crazier moves. Just because we actually do get refunds on FP. Very nice. Haha, <laughs> idiot. All right, we'll do a power shell, then we'll just take everybody out this this turn. Power shell! Boink! And a normal jump. Easy game! We are breezing through this, no problem at all. I'm actually quite confident. Nobody saw the mistake with the life stream though, right? I remembered to cut that out, right? Nobody saw that? I think Mover finally got the hint. That we don't want to see him anymore. There's just so many enemies. It sucks because, like, I'm using 4 FP a, a turn now because of it. But it's, it's worth knocking all these guys out immediately. So I don't gotta deal with them. And clear bonus and the six five star points. Five star points. I can count. Pick all you up. And we're going down. A bat! Get out of here, bat. Ooh. That's a free big move. Let's go. And now I gotta, oh man. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna Quake Hammer. Knock these two guys down. They get hit by a fork that was totally scripted. Dude, I defeated your boss. Get out of here. And we will swap to Gumbella. To do a head bonk on Swoopula. Now I just gotta deal with these two bozos. Which should be relatively easy. We'll do a quick hammer. Very nice. That kind of puts a wrench in everything. Well, now what do I do? I don't need this. Um, best option might just be to do coops and power shell it. I knew I was gonna miss one of them. Can the fog go away, please? I would like the fog to go away. I'm 
It's the other one now. Power shell it. I keep... I keep missing one! Stop! And now he's back up! Thank you. Okay. Oh, that got a little dicey towards the end there, but we're fine. No harm, no foul. We just used a little, a lot more FP than we planned to, but it's fine. Thank you kindly. 1600 smackaroos. A floor 80. Now here is where the challenge begins. Hey, bump attack. That's a new badge. Which means we are. Let's see. Badge list. Two badges away from full badge completion. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay. I can bell out. This is where I gotta play really smart. If you thought I was playing dumb before, this is where I gotta put my full brain power to work. <sighs> okay. Ah, this guy already. Okay. What we got? What we got? Two new enemies. This is already bad. Okay. 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 I'm going to tattle the dark Bristol first. I have a plan. I have a plan. That's a dark Bristol. It's an ancient creature made of rock. Max HP is eight, attack is eight, and defense is four. You can't jump on it because of its spikes, and you can't approach it due to its spears. And its defense is high. You better take it out with a special move or items. Okay, so now I'm going to art attack and hopefully not take out the piranha plant. So we'll go for this guy. We'll go for all of them first. Took him out. And we did it. We're good. I'm going to do one more on him. Okay, that should be fine. Perfect. Oh, what? Really? That's a piranha plant. In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all. Max HP is 15, attack is 9, and defense is 0. Its attack power is absurdly high. It may look like a normal piranha plant, but don't be fooled. It's super tough. If we get beaten by a flower, we'll never hear the end of it. Know what I mean? Oh, no, I know. I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean, Gumbilla. Thank you for taking that hit. Ooh, we're getting a lot of star points now, though, baby. <sighs> we'll have more chances to level up, which is nice. I still don't know. I, I kind of still want to keep my 10 HP. I kind of kind of like that. Although things are about to get way more difficult. So we got to be very careful. We can't let Gabella go down either, because that's going to eat up a life shroom. All right. Dark Bristol. I'm going to switch the coops for that. So I can do a shell move. Oh my, what is this? Okay. This is, <laughs> this is like a worst case scenario. Okay. Um, I'm going to shell shield. Mario. <laughs> I feel like that was the, that was the play. Okay, we're shell shielding Mario. And I'm going to Art Attack. No. I'm going to swap my partner out first. To Bobbery. Because you have 40 HP. Then I'm going to Art Attack. I really gotta be careful here. Okay. I don't know how much HP these guys have. I'm just trying to get them down. Not enough to kill. Whoa! Whoa! Owie! Okay, okay. 
Top partner to Gumbella. We will tattle. That's an Arantula. It's a spider-like creature that lives deep underground. Max HP is 16. Attack is seven and defense is zero. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It'll spit wed wobs at web wads at you. Sometimes it even attacks several times in a row. That coloring freaks me out. I'm kind of scared of spiders, so let's deal with this quickly. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we we'll swap to flurry. I only have. Oh man. Okay. I could stopwatch, but I don't really want to waste it. Actually, I might have a play here. But it could risk everything. Okay. Alright, All right, I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan. I'm gonna go for the one in the back. We'll get the bingo. One... Okay. Time that right, baby. Now I just gotta not die. I just gotta not die. Owie. Okay, I didn't die. That's all that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Let's do it. We got a full heal out of it and we took him out. No deaths. And that is why we use our full brain. Oh my gosh. Almost had a heart attack. I forgot there was a Bristol in that fight. Was that fight number two of floor 70, 80, whatever? <sighs> but we tattled them, so we never got to worry about doing that again. And that's that's what's the important part. Oh, but we gotta deal with him again. I love this. I love this so much. <sighs> Don't be a new enemy. Okay. All right, I can take out two of them. Oh, shell slam it. Nice. And now let's spring jump. Yes! Okay. Oh, I was hoping I could take them all out in one go, and I did. Used a lot of FP. Hopefully, we'll get a refund. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, piranha plants. Lovely. So many. I I don't need a dried shroom, but I'll I'll take it because I, I love you guys. Okay. Um. I'm gonna shell slam. Cause this could be a level up fight. We'll see four. Maybe. I need to deal five damage. How do I deal five damage? You know what? We're going Earth Tremor. I could deal five damage with Earth Tremor. All right, here we go. Four. I am concentrating so hard right now. Okay, okay. I don't think this is the level up. I think the next fight's gonna be the level up. Oh, close. On the dot? On the freaking dot. Let's go, baby! Go to BP. And now I actually feel a little more confident. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna put on power bounce again. <laughs> oh. Nice level up. 75 BP. Grab all these. Go to badges. We need to go to power bounce. Where are you? There you are. All right, we got power bounce on. Now I can actually, you know, deal pretty good damage with Mario. I wanted to just rely on my partners. Oh, Disposo. Oh, come on. Oh, Whoa, that's so many of them. That's so many of them. Oh, we're fine. I'll just shell slam them. Very nice. Oh, that's going to be so much star power, too. Do a quake hammer. And that is how you use your brain. That is so many. Oh, my gosh. 25 in one battle. Let's go. We might get a lot of money from that, too. I feel like we're going to get a lot of money. That seems like a good bit of money. I like that. Oh, him again. Lovely. Okay. We're going to do the same exact thing. Same exact thing. All right. All right. Well, do I have to? I'm going to try power. This might be a stupid thing to do, but. It was stupid. I am full of regret. So I am going to Earth Tremor. <laughs> I should have just done the Shell Slam, but we save FP, so. Oh, gotta go through this whole process again. I'm sorry. I wanted to see if I could save FP, and technically I could, but this move is so long. Just gotta get to five. All right, we are safe. I'm gonna go for the six, though, to add insult to injury. E Z P Z. You're dead. Good amount of star points, too. You'll love to see it. You will love to see it. I want to say we're halfway done with the 80s now. It feels like we are. Oh, we're over half. Oh, that's awesome. A Bristol. That's not too shabby to deal with. Okay, I am going to play it smart here and do a Shell Slam, just so I'm going to deal with the Bristols. And I'll just jump on the last guy. Woohoo! Yahoo! I am a Mario! And you have been defeated-o! 20 FP? <laughs> That's pretty good. We're getting slight refunds every now and again. That's a two refund. Yeah, that's all right. We're almost at 2,000 coins. That's pretty good. Oh, I hate the spiders so much. Oh, I hate dealing with the spiders. This is a weird room. Man. Okay, okay. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. I'm going to do shell slam. Got one of them. I could take out the piranha plant and then hopefully super guard the last. Actually, you know what? I will power bounce this guy. Yeah. I'm an idiot! Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got so lucky. <gasps> I got so lucky! I didn't use my brain and I said that's the one thing we have to do! Oh my gosh, okay. Whew! Not too shabby, not too shabby. Hey, that's a fat refund, man. I'll take that. Are we on floor 90 now? 
I can't math. I feel like we're on floor 90. Or one before it? One before it. Whew. Four piranha plants. I don't think I'll be able to take out all of them, but we can try. We'll do a shell slam. I'll leave them with five HP. I honestly might art attack just because we're so close to leveling up anyway. I just don't want to risk dying again. <laughs> Especially when we have 10 floors left and the boss to defeat. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Z. I always mess up the Z. How come I always mess it up? Okay, that's not too bad. I'm sad I had to use a special move, but it is what it is. I could have just done Earth Tremor, but I didn't want to wait. I'm a little bit impatient. I'm not using my brain, which is going to backfire on me. Okay, floor 90. Final 10 floors. Here we go. Oh, okay. What badge are we getting? Oh, lucky day. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Which means I think we only have one badge left. I believe. One badge. It's on the final floor. Okay. This floor is gonna suck. This is where I need to I have so much I have to tattle. I have to get the Amazing Daisy. I hate that guy so much. All right, what do we got? Two wizards, one with an item. Okay, all right, I gotta play this smart. I am going to tattle the wizard. I honestly might Bushi Mario. That's an elite wizard. This is the top of the heap for half machine organisms. Max HP is 12, attack is 8, and defense is 5. You can probably guess this, but it uses various magic moves in battle. And if it's alone, it'll create illusions of itself. It has no real weakness. So just use whatever you've got to beat it, okay? Let's go, Mario. I could art attack. Actually, I might do that instead. Because they only have 12 HP. I'm going to art attack because the if the bat goes for Mario, it's not going to hurt me. But I think that might be the play. I'm, I'm going to do it. I was going to Bushi, but I, I kind of want to save the Bushi. I'm being stingy. Okay. Go for you. Three. Six. Nine. Twelve. And I'll hit the bat once. Okay. Oh, 10 star. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. And you can't even hurt me. And we can tattle the bat safely. That's all I wanted. Tattling the bat. That's a swampire. It's a feared health sucker that hides in the darkness. Max HP is 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. It sucks health from its prey to add to its own HP. And that totally grosses me out like you wouldn't believe. If you let it feast on you, its HP will get really high. Focus your attacks on it. 16, we can actually take that out with one spring jump. Okay. Nice. All right, 15 star points, pretty good. That means next battle, depending on who's in there, we should be fine. A little sad, I don't have FP or S SP, but we'll have to make do with what we got. Right now, tattling is more important than anything else. But we'll see what our next enemy is. That is a new enemy. What we got, what we got? Four of them, oh my gosh. Oh, we're in for a bad time. Okay. We're going to tattle, which is probably a really stupid thing to do. Uh, that's a poison puff. Basically, just a puff of poisonous air. Max HP is 15, attack is 8, and defense is 0. Its poison gas attack is 10. 
These things charge you, but they also save up toxins and poison you with them. Scum. Plus, you can't touch them when they're saving up toxins, or you'll get hurt. So annoying. Okay. We do not have... I might stopwatch it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stopwatch it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk the stopwatch. All but one! I'll take it! I will take it! And he charged up. That's fine. So that's gonna hit us 10. Which means we should find a way to focus him. Why am I doing that? Alright, swap to Bobbery. And we're going to do a Baba Blast. Hopefully this doesn't hurt us a lot. Got one of them. Oh. Nice. How can I hurt the back guy? Oh, wait. Just figured it out. And we'll level up from this too, so I feel like it's worth doing. Okay. I had to play it smart. One, two, three, four. Actually, I only think I need to do like three of them. Pretty sure I got them down most of the way, right? I- I'm, I'm just- I'm- I'm- all right, I'll, I'll stop it on this one. I don't think they have more than 5 HP. I don't remember. <laughs> nice! Nice, 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 nice. And that is a level up, so we get fully healed. All of our partners are fully healed. We're fine. Kinda wanna put it in the BP. Still a BB boy at heart, man. It's just too good. It's just too good. We've tattled the majority of everything. I think the only thing I'm missing now is a Maisie Daisy in this area. Oh, we became a superstar. Yay! I forgot about that. We, we leveled up three times. We get the maximum stage. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Cabela just in case. And we really gotta think this stuff through. All right, that's a new enemy. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, what we got? A wizard. I failed that terribly. Um, I'm gonna tattle. Maybe I should art attack him. I know it's like a cop out, but that's a Bob Oak. That's easily the biggest Bob Bob I've ever seen. Max HP is 10, attack is 4, defense is 2. It won't attack, but once its fuse is lit, it will explode after a while. So the problem is, how do we beat it before it goes off? I mean, its bomb attack it has a power of 16. That's no joke. Seriously, watch out for that. Just go all out and beat it. Pull out all the stops. Or you could just set it off early with a fire explosion. It's your call. Okay, we are... I'm gonna art attack again. I know it's I know it's a cop-out, but like... I don't think I should do that, but I feel like I need to. Okay. One. Two. I just don't want to deal with the wizard, man. Okay, we got him. We get a lot of star points too. We will most likely level up before we get to the final boss, which will be very helpful. At least I'm hoping. We're at 20 star points already. I just hope I can find that amazing Daisy. Or I'm gonna have to grind it out in chapter four. We still got seven rooms. We haven't run into Mover in a while, so I'm hoping he finally got the hint that we don't want to see him anymore. Okay, we already tattled you, so that's fine. Nice, good hit. Okay. How am I going to do this? Because I want to tattle them and defeat them. But I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to let him run away. I, it's worth the tattle. I'm, I'm not here to level up. I'm here to, I'm here to, I'm here to 100% the game. 
That's an amazing daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. Max HP is 20, attack is 20, and defense is 1. Since it has such high HP and runs away really quickly, it's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its lullaby has a massive attack power, so if we're low on HP, we need to scram. You gotta think hard about whether to fight or bolt. I can try and art attack it, but I feel like that's just a waste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna take out everything though. I don't, I, I feel like, I know it's probably gonna be hard to watch, but it's, it's for me, it's, it's worth taking out everything so we don't die. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're gonna, they're most likely gonna run away. Our best case scenario, oh my God. I expected them to run away. Do we get a free Daisy? Are they both gonna attack us? Okay, you're gonna run. Well, we get one of them. I, I feel like that's worth that 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 that, that <laughs> that's worth a life stream. I'll take it. I honestly expected both of them to run away. So you know what? I'll gladly trade a mushroom uh, life stream for a free a free level up. That that's cool. And we got the tattle them. I'll take. It. I feel like that's a good compromise. Now watch how many star points we get. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can you imagine if we got two of those? Oh my god, 55. 55 freaking star points. I'll take it. That's fine. I should have super guarded. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. I think we tattled everything now. I should check the pit of 100 trials. Or I should check the tattle log before I continue. Mover, you son of a gun. I had to speak him into existence, man. I just had to do it. Okay, tattle log. We are 132 out of 30... 132 out of 134, which means we have tattled everything, every common enemy in the game. Just perfect. There are two enemies left to tattle, and that is the first boss of the Pit of 100 Trials and the last boss. I could go straight to the final boss if I wanted to. I kind of want to level up, though. I'm going to keep going. I skipped every mover. I'm gonna keep going. All right, we don't need Gumbella anymore, though. Until we get to the final, final boss, so. All right, Poison Puff, easily take you out. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, one went down, y'all suck. Okay, we're gonna switch to... Bobbery. Do a Baba Blast. I hope this doesn't kill us. This might not be smart. Ah, oh, well, that was worth it. <laughs> I did not think that one through. I could have died. <laughs> if there was more than one of them, I would have been dead. Oh, that would have been another waste of a life stream. How many am I at now? I think I'm at one, two. Oh wait, we have one, two, three. Four. Oh, we have five. Oh, we're good. Oh, I thought I had way less than that for some reason. You know what? Let's not. Let's not be stupid about this. <laughs> let's not be stupid about this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to level up this fight anyway, so going all out, baby! Let's go! And that's a level up. Woo! Let's go! I'm doing it! I'm throwing it in the BP! I'm gonna do it! 81 BP. I think we have six BP available now, which is pretty good. I know what I'm gonna use that on. Very nice. How many more floors do we have? 97, we have two more. Go to badges. We have six BP. Let's put on... I wanted to disable something. 
I need power bounds. I need to keep power bounds. I could turn on some pretty luckies, but I want to put on lucky uh, the, the 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 good one we got, the really good one. I'll probably wait, see if I get amazing daisies again, because then I can just hard focus them. But I have to worry about it. Come on, come on, come here. Nice. Oh! We actually got him. We actually got him. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay. Shell slam. That's another level up. That's another freaking level up, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. And art attack. We are art attacking them. No hesitation. I'm going to do all of them once. Okay. Two more. Come on. Redemption? Redemption! Oh, I could probably go for the... Oh, I could have gone for him again. I was just too excited. Oh my god, look at all this stuff! <laughs> That's the most we've ever gotten from a fight! Oh my gosh! That is practically a level up from one fight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Night and night is a level up! We got the perfect number! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I can equip the badge I wanted to as well. Go right in the BP. <laughs> I can't believe we got the double again. We got three out of four amazing daisies. I'm I'm content with that. That's pretty freaking hype. Oh, that's so much money. Let's go. Alright, I'm putting on that badge now. Yep, we have nine. We're going to put on Lucky Day. And we're going to put on Pretty Lucky. Because we're going to need that. <laughs> pretty Lucky. Let's go. Final floor? Or the final trial, I should say. Is it going to be like ten wizards? No, it's not. Okay, thank you. I didn't want it to be ten wizards. Oh! Oh, that's so kind of you guys. Thank you for lining yourself up for failure. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, I'll just I'll just take him out. I can deal with one. Should be fine. Oh, and I super guarded. Let's go, bozo. We made it. We made it. We actually made it. Only two life shrooms used. That's because I have 10 HP. So like I'm I think I think we did pretty well. Oh, I just noticed I didn't make notice of the stage. I hope you guys notice it at least. I'm sorry. I should have made notice of that. Okay. Time for the first boss of the Pit of 100 Trials. We bone tailing. Oh. Wow, what a freak. Okay. Let's go ahead and tattle. Boink. That's Bone Tail. She's the older sister of Hooktail. So old, she's just bones, in fact. Wow, now that's old. Her body's max HP is 200, her attack is 8, and her defense is 2. She has various breasts that might confuse us or put us to sleep. When her HP gets low, she'll recover or reanimate, as the case may be. She's probably stronger than your basic final boss type. Seriously, let's do this right. Which is why I am going to boo sheet. Woohoo! Thank you! Okay, I was worried that was actually going to hit us. 
Alright, we're gonna swap. We're gonna do power lift. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna keep it. We're going to rally wink. There we go. Gotta rally wing first. Now we will power lift. I shouldn't power lift Goombella though. I should. Who should I power lift? Bobbery? I'll do Coops. I'll do Coops. I'll power lift Coops. Okay, power lift. Because I got a shell shield Mario anyway. This would be the most optimal time to do this. I missed one power up, that's fine. Okay. I want to get four on each. Ah, I only got four, three. That's fine, that's fine. Still good, it's still good. Okay. And now I'm going to try and power bounce. Bounce, I'll take it. Ow, I wasn't even ready for that. Okay, she can actually hit Mario now. I should shell shield Mario. I'm wasting a lot. No, I'm gonna shell slam. I think Mario's fine. We're still at 10 HP. This should hit a lot, which is why I want to do it. Yeah, 14. Okay, I will. Should I power bounce or spring jump? I'm gonna try doing a power bounce again. I actually did really good on the first one. Okay, well, I did terrible in the second one, so. Ah! Stop it! Okay, one more, and then we'll shell shield Mario. Good damage. I'm gonna spring jump this time. And time it. 20 damage. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'll take it. <sighs> oh, owie. Okay, we didn't die, which is good. Uh, now I'm going to shell shield Mario. Nice. Perfect one. Okay, shell shield Mario. We will swap out Koops to... Bella's full HP. I'm going to do Bobbery though, just because they're a tank. That's the important one. Now I'm going to power lift. Yeah, I'm going to power lift. Which means we're not going to attack this turn, but that's fine. Okay, you, 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 you. Nice, 4-4. Four, four. That's what I wanted. Very good. What are you gonna do? Breath? Okay. Oh, I don't have, like, any FP. Uh, okay, we'll just bomb. That should still deal a lot of damage. Yeah, 12 damage, that's still a lot. Do I risk Mario? I do. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Um, we're gonna do a power bounce. Ah, dang it. I'll do a breath. What? Why'd you? You get out of here. I can't believe she healed, man. Okay. We're gonna do that again. It's, it was only 20. It was only 20. We're still doing fine. We're still doing fine. I can actually take back everything. We might eat up a life shroom here, but that's fine. I got a stylish out. Oh, wait. What is that? Hey, pretty good. Come on. Don't breath. Don't breath. Don't breath. No! No! Okay, we used one life shroom. That's fine. We almost got through the entire fight without using a life shroom, though, so I'll take it. 
how much damage or how much health you have. Because I should really power lift. Yeah, I'm gonna power lift. Mario's gonna take the brunt of the damage this time, though, which is, should be fine. No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna play it smart. I'm gonna play it smart. We're gonna bomb. Keep Bobbery in the front. Then we're gonna power lift. That's what we need to do. Okay. Because she can one hit Mario if I don't have the defense, so I need to have the defense up. Okay, 3 4 is not terrible. I, I, we need a defense, so that's good. Okay. Eleven damage is still good. Not gonna do a special move. We'll do a power bounce just because it costs less FP to use. Thirty-seven's not terrible. Oh no! Oh, I got lucky. That's perfect. Okay, let's do a bomb. 11 damage, 25 health. Go for a power bounce. Ah! Come on. <gasps> oh, that's not good in the slightest. That's better, though. <laughs> Who can hit seven? Coops could if I did if I had FP, man. Ah, we're in a bad spot. Okay. Can Gumbella finish this? Gumbella might be able to finish this. Let's go! <laughs> How many star points? Holy schmoly, that's a lot of clear bonus. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What? I'll, I'll take the 999 coins. That's fine. I wasn't even expecting that. That's fine. We did it. We completed the pit of 100 trials. First try, too. And this will complete our badge collection. Let's go. Yeah, me. Return postage. Full badge list complete. I am so happy. We used three life shrooms the entire, uh, the entire thing. I think so that's pretty good. Are we gonna get an email? Yay! Congratulations, you obtained every single badge, whether earned or uncovered, purchased or found. The complete collection is now at your fingertips. As proof of your efforts, we sent you a special reward, the badge trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. Let's freaking go. I think it's in gear. Is in useful items. There's our badge trophy. We got the badge trophy, we got the cooking trophy, and we got Prince Mush's belt. So, let's head back up to Rogueport and complete this trouble. Oh, before we actually go complete this trouble, I have to go buy Luigi's book. And since we have 3,000 coins, we can honestly just purchase every single badge in the badge shop. We don't have to because we complete all of it, but I just like, you know, buying everything just because just we can. We're loaded. This is the most amount of money we've ever had. And since we have to do the Pit of 100 Trials again, then we're going to make even more money. We're gonna be so loaded. I'm so excited. All right, let's buy all these badges out. Cause they're cheaper. Buy you. Buy you. Buy you. We will buy you. And we will buy you. Ms. Mouse is gonna thank us. She may even give us another keys. Buy the shrink stop. Buy the sleepy stop. 
by the head rattle, by another fire drive, by the damage dodge. And we still got so much money left over, too. Oh, man, that was perfect, man. I'm so happy. Oh, yay. All badges obtained. I told you guys we were going to do it. 1,500 coins still left over. Cleared out the bad shop. Still got one Luigi book. I think one or two Luigi books left to buy. But we have the money to do so. So let's go turn in this last trouble. Hello! I'm here to turn in your trouble. So, you erased my graffiti? Shop Huff? You erased it. Shell Sloom! I am so grateful to you! But it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not. Shabu. Oh well, I guess I will just have to trust you. Sha sha galaki shakit shakity. Take this reward, Shapow. Zesty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow. Shafoom. We went to floor 50 for that. I am going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. You cannot tell anyone what it is. Shafoom. Promise me. Shakroom. We solved the trouble. All right, let's head back to Roadport. We'll do the last two troubles as a fun little montage, as an homage to every other time we did it. And then we will redo a pit of 100 trials. Hello. What are the final two troubles we have to do? Let us begin. What a cute final trouble that was. And actually, while we're in Poshley Heights, there's somebody I wanted to show you guys. After you beat the game, Lady Bo from the first game is here. You can talk to her. It is you, isn't it, Mario? Well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? I've come here with Bootler. Yes, as a little vacation to Poshley's Sanctum. I hadn't left the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. <laughs> But what a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. Oh my gosh. I, the fact that she's here is so good. And fun fact, the other uh, partners from the first game are in the game files, but they're never utilized. So I'm a little bummed about that. But you gotta say, Bootler. Lady Bo, your beauty is like the song of a night nightingale in the evening. Indeed. I feel you've grown into a fine young girl who'd make your ancestors proud. Indeed. Very much indeed. Well, we have finished all of the troubles, and it is time to head back to Rogueport. Oh, so by the way, I don't know if you saw during the montage, but I did buy the final Luigi book. So we have all of... I think we have all Luigi's books. Just double-checking. Uh, uh, yeah, yep, we got all the Luigi books. But now we are just missing an email, and then we are good to go. 
while we wait for this email to arrive, I am going to buy a few more life shrooms since we have to do the pit of 100 trials again. And don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm actually going to skip literally everything. We're just going to go to the final floor. So you guys won't have to watch me do all of that again. But just in case, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to buy a hefty amount of life shrooms just because I want to make sure we get this done right. I'm probably going to go with 10. Just so like, it's definitely overkill, but you know, the final boss, I don't want to, have to do the pit like a, a thousand times, so. Oh, 70 shot points. Oh, we got a shooting star. Oh, that's nice. Cool. All right, we have a thousand coins to our name. Now we just got to wait for an email and then we can go do the pit of 100 trials. Here we go. Oh, you know what? While we wait for our final email, let's go ahead and catch up with uh, our little investor, see what his adventure was up to. Ah, Mario, how's it going? Did you come to read my journal? Yeah, let's read your journal. You got seven parts. What you got? The night before. I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese and I'm ready to go. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much to all my investors, not just money. The old get rich quick dream, but this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's so cold there. People are constantly shivering. If I find oil and send it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and them happy. It seems to be a perfect goal, right? I have always, always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money, cover me with it, please. Ah, well, enough for tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Another read. All right, what happened with the buzzer fiend? Oh, is that the buzzer from the first game? Oh, the callback. The buzzard feed. Why did it have to turn out like this? I got to Toad Town by boat, then took a train to the foot of Mount Rugged. Unfortunately, you can only get there from Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Desert on foot. And tragedy waited for me as I slogged faithfully up the winding trail. It was a huge, awful vulture I had read about in my travel brochures. This buzzer... Bazaar? This b bazaar? I think it's bazaar. This bazaar accosted all travelers on Mount Rugged. I hightailed it, but bazaar had me in its sights. I felt its piercing jolt as its claws dug deep into my backpack. After dropping me onto a cliff, bazaar seemed to forget me and disappear. I let out a sigh of relief, but when I touched my back, I noticed my pack was gone. My pack! It was all my food and money to start the operation! No! That muddy bazaar made off with everything of importance to me. All I have left is this journal, a shovel to dig for oil, and my life. But perhaps living is miracle enough, or so I'd like to believe. But now, I can't turn back. I climb down the mountain to the desert. The dry, dry desert sprawls out before me, beckoning dreamers and fools. I am both, and I set out with a heart full of dread. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. We need another. We will continue your story. I'm curious as to where it goes. A helping hand. I am now at a place called Dry Dry Outpost. Someone pulled me lifeless and parched from the merciless desert floor. It was a Koopa with a fine mustache named Colorado, an angel in a pith helmet. He was a world traveling adventurer archaeologist. I told him about Bazaar and my quest for oil and my dreams of riches and warmth for my people. After I spoke at length, he gave me food and water. I asked him why he should be so kind, and he looked into the distance and said, Turning one's back on ambition's dreamer. Invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I just, I just want to believe in every dream that this sad, old Warren can muster. This guy, he still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. We stayed up all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Another read. A reliable guide. It's so cool that they reference Colorado. That's the second reference this game. I am now at the Desert Oasis. After Colorado left, I set out for Dry Dry Outpost to find my digging point. But the desert is so wide, it's impossible to find anything without a guide. I had no idea where I was going, and my head was splitting in the heat. My throat was burning and scratchy. Was I awake? Was I asleep? I heard a voice calling to me from far away. Hey, are you a nice guy? If you're a nice guy, then give me something nice. I didn't have food or water I received from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you are a nice guy, give me something. 
and I will help. I croaked. All I have is, all I have is my dream. When I next woke, I was at this oasis. You're awake, I heard. There was a little mouser there in a gray headscarf. My name is Mustafa, and you had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. I don't know how or why, but it seems I'd been saved by yet another stranger. Do you need a guide? If there is somewhere you want to go, I will take you. Unbelievable! I've actually found a reliable guide. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another. The digging point. We're here. I'm finally at the spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus like rock. I went north a precise distance from the exact termination point. I ended up here at a point between dry dry ruins and the oasis. Mustafa has guided me this far with skill and bravery. He said, you are a nice guy. Your dream will come true. Mustafa believes this. He left then, leaving me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do is dig here until I find oil. That's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis, so I should last a few days. I must find that oil. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another? A long dig. I am digging for oil now, and my hand shakes as I write these perhaps final words. I have been digging from sun up to sun down, but still no sign of that sweet, crude. Maybe I've just picked a dry spot in this cursed spot, in this cursed desert. But I'm sure of this is where Merlovy told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no more food or water, and even my hopes have dwindled to nothing. Ah, this is it. My dream dies here with me under these unforgiving skies. My dream, my, my, wait, no, this is not it. My dream is some of something else. Yes, something else. Dig, keep digging. I must keep digging. Arms, move, body, work, find oil. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Read another. A wrap up. I am now on a boat back to Deer Rogueport. I did it. I finally struck oil in that dry desert. I have left the day to day operation to my men in the field and now return home. It all came true. Striking it rich, finding oil, my dream. But somewhere along the way, this became more than just my dream. So many people have helped me to make this dream happen. So many. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway, dear Mustafa. I just want to believe in every dream this sad world can muster. Ah, Colorado. People who lent me money and gave me food and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help me. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. I must share this feeling with the people who helped me as I struggled. I must share these words that have seared themselves into my heart. Dreams come true, lumpy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another? No, we did it. Congrats on your dream, bruv. That was fun. That was a fun read. I loved all the references to the first game. It was so nice. Hey, we got the email. Okay, let's go ahead and read it. RDM extra issue. Impromptu special. What lies in the pit of 100 trials? Fabled creature spotted. Rogue board today. Early this morning, we received a report of a mysterious creature that has taken up residence deep within the pit of 100 trials already rumored to be the lair of an evil dragon. According to eyewitnesses that spotted it, part of it looked like a certain creature said to be extinct. We call upon our readers to send in any additional information you might have, should you encounter it. Editor's note, to any brave readers that wish to test their skills in the Pit of 100 Trials, careful preparation is a must. Know your editorial department will be cheering you on. To any good a little children who might be reading this, the Pit of 100 Trials is very dangerous. Don't go near it. But if you do, don't mention this newsletter. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. All right. We now have access to the final boss of the game, as well as our last tattle, and the one thing keeping us from 100%ing the game. So let's head back to the pit of 100 trials. All right, we... Mover, what the heck are you doing here? Hey, what's up? I'm Mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. I got a special deal going on right now where I can take you straight to level 50. Cost a little extra. 300 coins to go to level 50. That's actually, I might take you up on that. And I always mean to you before, but 
I'm trying to tattle stuff, man. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. We're gonna save. We're gonna, we're gonna save. And we are gonna take Mover up on his offer. And by the time we, uh, you see next, we will be at level 100 of the pit of 100 trials. So I'll see you guys then. Pay our coins, and I'll see you down there. And we made it to the bottom of the pit of 100 trials. I only used one life shroom, so I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, we leveled up twice, and I'm going to put on a badge I'm meaning to put on. Which is... where are you? Where are you? Where, actually, I don't really need to put it on anymore, because we, we finished the 100 trials. I was going to put it on for the 100 trials, but yeah, we don't need to. I'm actually going to put you on, so I do more damage. And why not? We'll throw on refund anyway, because I feel like I'm going to use some items. What am I at? I'm sitting at 12 FP. Definitely need to... I'm going to use a Wacka's Bump. Now we are fully healed for the fight. And of course, last but not least, we need to switch to Gumbella. All right, this is it. The ending. Let's see who the final boss is. What the? Waka hoo! I'm Waka! You sure traveled a long way to see me! It's kind of cramped and dark down here, but it's also super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot. Hoo! Waka hoo! Well, that's why you're here! You wanna play with me? In that case, let's play! Bam! Oh my gosh. They added the meme fight. I don't plan on fleeing. Alright. The final tattle. Oh my gosh, the music. That's a wacka. They're pretty rare, but you could also find them hiding in Keel Hall Key. He's got a max HP of 108 and an attack of 10 and a defense of 1. I never expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attacked, he'll drop a whack -a bump Then he'll use that bump for a powerful attack of his own. That means we should try to use as few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping those whack -a bumps Seriously, I never expected to fight a whack -a. It's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I bet it gets really scary when he's mad, but I hope we don't find out. All right, I'm going to power lift and get ready for this. I cannot believe we're fighting Wacka. That's amazing. Okay. Do that. I'm going to need defense, although I'm pretty sure he can one tap me. So my hope, my goal is I hope he goes for like Umbella or any of my other partners instead of me, because I do have nine more life shrooms. So. All right, what's his attack going to be? Okay, attack is boosted, defense is boosted. Oh, super guarded it. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, swap partner to Koops real quick. We're gonna shell shield Mario. Gotta be defensive about this. Okay, missed it by one, but it's not too bad. And now let's do a power bounce. Should I be concerned about those red ones? Se Why? Just used 75! What? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, let's try... I feel like we should do Rally Wink on Mario. But we also are powered up with Gumbella. I'm gonna try multi -bonk. Pretty good. Down to 63 already. Let's swap to Bobbery for the more health. And we will do a power bounce as well. Oh, yeah, we are hitting these. Oh my gosh, I was the best I think I've ever done. This is going to hurt, isn't it? 10, 20, oh my gosh. Somebody do the math. How much damage did he just do? Oh, no, Bobbery! Oh, my gosh. 
That would have annihilated me. Okay, swapping to Bella. I think we can just take him out here. Yeah, I think we can just take him out here. Oh, let's go! That attack was terrifying. Oh my gosh. Hey, and we got a hundred, uh, hundred clear bonus. That's pretty sick. Oh, and we level up. We end the game at level 32. That was a short fight. I think we got really good on the on the multi bounces though, or the power bounces. All right, we'll end on a 90 BP. Three more BP, we want to max it out. But we did it. We defeated the hardest enemy. Well, that's probably up for debate. We got we got pretty lucky with it. Wacko! I guess I lost. But that was fine. Hope to see you again sometime. The gold whack a bump. We did it. We cleared the pit of 100 trials twice. Let's get out of here. Get an email. Oh, here we go. Congratulations, you've had Gumbella tattle on every kind of enemy. Your tattle log is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad guy gossip. As proof of your efforts, we sent you a special reward, the Tattle Trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. And here we go. A letter I've been waiting for. It's a golden letter too. Congratulations. You've collected all of the recipes, obtained every badge, and filled up your entire tattle log. Wow. Head on over to Rogueport's main square. A shiny reward is waiting for you. Oh, man. The tattle trophy. The gold whack-a-bump. Oh, my gosh. We did it. We 100 percent in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Oh, my gosh. Let's head to Rogueport Square. I am so excited. And then I think we'll go talk to Tech. Uh, and then... Actually, no, we're already down here. Let's go talk to Tech first. Hey, Tech. How's it going? Mario. Yeah, I am pleased that I could see you again. I detonated explosives after you left to ensure the base could no longer be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day, I regained consciousness and was all as before. Yes, everything. I do not comprehend why, but... As I regained consciousness, I saw a light and thought I heard Peach's voice. Aww, that's cute. Okay, so that's why he's alive. That makes no sense canonically, but I'm glad Tech's doing okay. You didn't die, buddy. You didn't die. All right, let's head back to Rogueport. And we are back in Rogueport. Let's see what awaits us. <gasps> what is this? You got a gold medal badge. Makes Mario look shiny and golden. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. We did it! We have completed Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Before we end off, though, I did want to take a look at the art gallery. Uh, I said we were going to look at it later, and now it's later. So we have a lot to look through, and I'm, I'm excited to share it all with you because this stuff, it wasn't in the original game. So I think it'd be fun to look through it all together and see what they added in the remake. So Rogue Port. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so cute. All the concept art. Oh, man. Oh, Professor Frankly's house. Oh, yeah, fun fact. If you look at the garbage can right there, if you ever missed a tattle you could only get once, you could always recover it from the garbage can in Frankly's house. So I didn't have to, like, tattle all the bosses and whatnot, but I thought it would be fun to do just in-game. Oh, there's Rogueport Sewers. Thousand-year door. The battle stage. <gasps> Actual concept art from the original game? Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. Look at little Goombella in the... Oh, and the original concept designs. Oh, man. I love it. Oh, Rogue Fort was awesome. All right, chapter one. We got the uh, design pieces. 
all the different peaches from that uh, the the weirdo's house. Oh my gosh, it's the uh, old uh, the the young designs of the mayor and his wife. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The fuzzies place, the thwomp area. Oh man, Hooktail's castle. They did such a good job on this game. Is that a real life diorama? Oh my god, that's so cute! What? I want that! How much? How much, Nintendo? Let me buy it. <laughs> All the set pieces are amazing, man. The hooktail... Wow, I didn't realize how big this area was. Oh, the original concept art. Oh my gosh. This is such a good game, man. Wow. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh my gosh. Oh, the original designs, the concept art. I love it so much. Koopy Koo, Koops, Koops' his dad, the mayor, Hooktail. Oh, I like the sleepy Hooktail dragon. That's so cute. Chapter one was amazing. Chapter two? Ogly Woods. The Grand Tree. Wow, that tree is huge. Oh my gosh, they actually made a real life. I want it. I want all this stuff. Tell me how much Nintendo. I will pay literally anything for it. Oh, Flurry's house. The shag carpet. Oh, man. Wow. This stuff looks so good. The original concept art. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it used to- oh, it used to be like that. Oh, that's so cute, too. I love all the changes they made. Oh, that's what the beauty is gonna look like! Oh, my gosh! Look at Marilyn, Beldum, and, and, and Vivian, though. <laughs> They're kinda cute there, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they used to be pitch black. That's actually kinda neat. I kinda like them as that. Oh, the original costumes are over and Vivian as well. Oh, uh, I forgot they appeared in Chapter 2. I'm used to- I always associate them with Chapter 4. Glitz pits. Oh, the blimp had different variations. I'm kind of glad they went with the paper mache one. Not not an actual like balloon or or legitimate paper mache. Oh, all the shops. The corridors. That's so cool. Oh, they they actually made it a Game Boy Advance. In the original one, it was a Game Boy Advance, but it was like this kind of like bulky one. So that's kind of neat that they actually made it that one. Oh, the lighting is so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I kind of like the bottom left one. I, mean, I know we got the, the one on the right, but the bottom left one's actually really good. Oh, the original concept art for these, the Yoshis. Oh man, Lakitu, Grubba, Rockhawk. Oh man. Chapter three is still one of my favorites. All right, chapter four. We got Twilight Town. The house I kept going into. Oh, this is before they added the rock to the shed. That's kind of interesting. All the set pieces, the lock on the gate. Oh, we never got the grind out of this area because I skipped the Amazing Daisies until the Pit of 100 Trials, but it's still really cool to look at. Oh, man. Creepy steeple. Oh, the stained glass. Duplice's headquarters. Man, they really outdid themselves with this. I love how they, uh, I, I, I know they have to do it because of the game, but like the, the sets building into one another, the fact that they planned all that out. I know it's obvious, like in hindsight, that they had to do that, but just seeing the work that goes in behind it is such a phenomenal thing to look at. The underground area used to look more murky and dark. Or I guess more dark than murky, but they, they made it more murky. All oh, the original concept art. It's so good. Oh my gosh, creepy steeple! The stained glass. They definitely improved the stained glass, in my opinion. Alright, well, what we got? That's what Madame Fleury used to look like? Oh my gosh. That's a bell sprout. That is 100% a bell sprout. I like Dupless with a little scythe. I like the, the skinny Dupless all the way to the right, uh, bottom right. That one's actually a really cool design. The clown. Little piggies. Oh man. They did, they did really good on this. All right, chapter five. Oh, Keel Hulky, the boats, the Flavion, inside Pirate's Grotto. 
where we got our badge to help us with fire enemies, where we put the skull gem in. Some concept art of the stages, Bobbery getting wasted. Oh, this is where we fought Cortez. Oh, man. It's so good. So much care and detail went into this game. It just blows me away. The concept design, or the concept art for Kill Hulk Key is really good. Oh, Mario just washes up on the shore. I wish they actually did that. That would have been really cool. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's so... Oh, that's what Bobber used to look like? An actual, like, general. That's cool. Oh, I like the one with the cape, though. Oh, I kind of wish they kept that one. The one right in the, right under the, uh, the, the, like, the little general guy. It looked really cool. Flavio used to be a toad? I can't imagine him looking at anything else like a the dork that he is. So it's crazy to think about. Chapter 5 had some really good concept art. Let's check out Chapter 6. One of my favorite chapters. I know this one was kind of a low point for a lot of people. But, like, for me, this is still one of my favorite chapters because of the train ride. It's such an interesting concept. There's the trains, Mario next to a lantern. Kind of neat. Inside the train, daytime, evening, and nighttime. Daytime, evening, nighttime. It shows all the different carts. That's so cool. Oh, man. Hoshley Heights. Look at the dioramas. This is so good. You know how, like, some adults have, like, this Lego basement and whatnot? I would have a Paper Mario basement with just all the dioramas. I would buy all of them. I'd spend my entire life savings on this if I could. Ah, oh, inside Poshly Sanctum. It's so nice. Oh, here's the concept art. And they really planned out all of this. They do exactly what they wanted. That's so cool. Poshly Heights. Poshly Heights got a major upgrade, though, because it, it looks a little more tame here, but now it's like this big fancy area. Oh my gosh! Look at the nerd with the briefcase! He actually could have been really cute! What the heck? What? Oh, everybody else's design is pretty much the same, except for Zip Toad. They changed the color. But, dang, I, I kind of wish they would have just made him an otter. He looks like an otter. I love that. All right, Chapter 7. What we got here? Far outposts. Forest. Inside a house. That is so much crazy detail. Wow. On the moon? Oh, it's- Oh! That's whenever you crash land on the moon. Oh, look at that! It's a little Mario Goombella, uh, indent. Different designs for the moon. I'm kind of glad they went with the last one. Oh, the second one is so weird to look at. I don't know if I like that. And the paper mache one's also kind of weird, too. Oh, the x not Force. Oh, it's actually zoomed out so you can see the whole thing. Oh, that's really cool. Grotus's office, the corridors, the potion room, tech. Here's the concept art for the moon, far outpost. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they really plan out all of this. Which is such a stupid thing to say because I know that, but... Oh my gosh! This is the original Miss Mouse design. Oh, I like her little blue, uh, blue little headpiece. We didn't get to talk to the disco dude too much, but... Little Mo What's Monty Moles doing here? Was, that the, was it originally supposed to be Monty Moles instead of Piantas? That's an interesting concept. That's cool. What a weird universe that would have been. All right, chapter eight. Oh, the Palace of Shadow looks so cool. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful, dude. The shines, the glimmers. Oh, look at the lighting on the top one. Oh, I wish that was in the final game. I think we got the bottom one in the final one, but the top one, oh, that lighting. I really like that. Might be personal taste, but I I love that. Oh, and this is where we fight the Shadow Queen. Ooh, it would have been inverted. That's really cool. Unless they did do it. I didn't really notice. That's so cool, though. Oh, my gosh. This is when everything went dark. I'm glad they did the, the hands reaching out. I think that was new to this game. I don't remember that in the original game. Oh, the planetarium it used to be in a cave. A lot of it seems like it used to be like in a cave itself before they switched it to like the interior of like a, a castle. It looks so good. The cuts are so good. This doesn't feel like a Mario game. 
There's uh, Lord Crump. Oh, that's what the Shadow Queen could have looked like. Interesting. I think I think the final design is really good. The little X dots are cute, though. They definitely knocked it out of the park with the with the final designs, though. I, I don't think they could have improved those. All right, what's the special ones? Mario's house. Oh, this is what they could have went with. I'm so glad. I know a lot of people complain about it, but I'm not a fan of the white outline that they used in a... Uh, Color Splash or Origami King because I don't know I just like I preferred the original one where they didn't really focus too much on the paper aspect of the game and I, I just wasn't really big fan of that design so them going back to what Thousand Year Door used to look like and just kind of like modernizing it made me so happy that's how the buttons worked oh my gosh the shine sprite the blocks I really wish I, I this is still a criticism from like the original game to the original Thousand Year Door from 2004 is that I wish the blocks, like the yellow, the gray, and the red and gold one, I wish that they kept those as an upgrade, but I guess they had to do the big ones, so it kind of makes sense, but uh, it's a little inconsistency from the first game to the second game. The coins look really good. I like the coins. The blocks, the save blocks, the pow blocks, badge blocks. Oh, the opening chapter sequence. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Behind the curtains. What? What is that thing? I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, it's the, uh, it's the stage hazards. Oh, with the one that spread fire and the ice and whatnot. Oh, that's cool. Bowser's castle designs. Ooh, the bottom right one's really good. I like the top right one as well. The Bowser levels. Oh my gosh. Look what it, that, that's what the game could have looked like in the top right. That's crazy. And the bottom right. The, they, apparently they originally did intend to do the white outline, so I'm kind of glad they scrapped that idea. Wow. Oh, the little it's so cute. This is the real ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the concept art for the uh for the game menu and the Oh man, my heart, my heart is fluttering right now. What the heck? Who are they, who's that toad supposed to be? What? Are these the original heroes from the game? I think they are. I think I read somewhere that those are the original heroes, the ones at the bottom three. Maybe that toad, I'm not entirely sure. Wow, that was fun to look at. That was really fun to look at. Honestly, I never thought I would be able to do this on my channel. And you know what, even if the series as a whole didn't do as I expected, I I had so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the ride too. For those of you who did watch, it, it means the world to me. I am happy I could share this with you. I'm thankful to all of my friends who voice acted uh, the characters, which they will be linked down below. Everybody who voiced the character will be linked down below and what character they played, because I know a lot of you have been requesting to know who played who. But again, it, it just it just means the world to me that those of you who did choose to stick around this entire series, I know it was a long one. Raw footage, I think, was like around 40 hours, but I condensed it. I tried to make it as consumable as possible, and I hope that it shows how passionate I am about this game. But again, it, it means the world to me that I was able to do this and share my f f all time favorite game with all of you. It, it really means so much to me. So for the final time on this game, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I'm Mythsan. It's been an absolute pleasure and I appreciate your existence. Take care, everybody.